But the financial woes plaguing the ANC have resurfaced as insiders reveal the party struggles to afford essential election materials such as posters, banners and t-shirts, casting a shadow over its preparations for the impending national and provincial elections just over two months away. The conspicuous absence of ANC posters promoting the party's candidates has caught attention, with reporters from the media attributing this absence to the ANC's dire financial situation. Sources within the party disclosed that a recent meeting of ANC election officials nationwide highlighted concerns regarding the lack of budget allocated for campaign essentials. An insider revealed, and I quote, Since the announcement of the election date, the party has yet to initiate the creation of election materials like t-shirt, banners and posters. End of quote. However, their financial challenges extend beyond the absence of campaign materials. Insiders further divulged that the ANC has faced difficulties in meeting its financial obligations, including delayed salary payment to staff and fall behind by three months in contributions. In effort to elevate its financial strain, the ANC has resorted to various fundraising initiatives, including hosting gala dinners and soliciting donations from business figures. While the opposition parties have criticized the ANC's handling of the bill, accusing it of orchestrating a money grab to bolster its finances ahead of the crucial 2024 elections, the IFP Member of Parliament announced the bill as unconstitutional, alleging that it favors the ruling party's interests. As the ANC Secretary General Fikile Mbalula dismissed these allegations, asserting that the bill ensures a credible contribution of funds based on electoral performances, Balula also emphasized the ANC's opponents' complaints stem from bitterness rather than genuine concerns about the legislation's fairness. For this and much more from Southern TV, be sure to leave your comment about the matter in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more updates.